Loading, loading, loading. Right, I'm in. Multiplayer. Add. I don't see you in me online friends. Are you in? Are you in stream? Steam. Hello. Are you there? I hear you now, yeah. Oh, I'm sick of this fucking headset, man. It's shit. It costs us 150 quid and it's lasted like four years. Jesus. Well, I'll get ripped off these days for that. Well, I'll get ripped off. Indeed. I Take can't... Take back to the 50s. No, I... I, uh, I can't Sorry, see I'm when I try to invite, invite you. Oh, here we go. You're joining. How did you oh, do that, then? Because I'm king. I don't know why, but we, I, I think it's because I'm on invisible. Because... Yeah, I'm just on invisible. Are you in? Yeah. Cool. I can't remember what we're doing. Uh, we were gonna. Well, we're not gonna go through this drawbridge thing. Yeah, but when you, I think when you go around because they, you don't want to talk to them. Because they're going to scan you like they did last time, and then it starts the fight. Ah. Because they'll scan you, and they'll notice you've got a tadpole. So you, there is a way around, though, but I, I, I don't know whether... We, uh, we all need the, like, jumping potions. That makes you jump ten times as far. Or the fly. Or... Jump, fly. Teleport. Misty step, I mean. Where do and we I do? think we've got, we've probably got enough of that. Wait there, is it? Scroll of fly, fly. Oh, no. Right, I think. Right, okay. Push. Right, we've got three potions of flying and two scrolls of flying, so we're alright. Right, we can just use them to, to, to go over. So we've got to go down the side here, I think. Oh, hang on. Oh, get in. We only need one potion of... One scroll of... Oh, what's it called? Feather for... Uh... Although, oh, hang on. This little, what's the quest have we got? Try and go, Tash. Impress the murder tribunal. The Elf Song Tavern. Which is in the lower so you, Yeah, so we need to go there. Pre Orpheus, rescue the Grand Duke, that's there. That doesn't matter. Right, cool. We do actually need to jump over here. <coughs> so, um. Feather Fall. Uh, let's cast this on everyone. Right, now quickly jump down here. Nice. Now everyone else should just jump. Yeah. There we go. Cool. And then I think there's a bit. Is it, yeah, there's a bit more jump in here. Oh. Oh, I hadn't. I hadn't been that way before. What way can you get up that way? Oh no, that's just the way out. So we might actually have to go through the prison and up through the top of the prison. I need to pick these up. Is 
there any more? Oh, there is. I'm just going to pick up all of these because they'll make me health potions later on. Right, you can. It's your game. You can choose which way to go. So, do you want to sneak through the prison somehow, which you'll probably end up in fighting, or can we even go this way? We might be able to go down on this beach. I don't know if we can. We should probably check the beach anyway. Yeah. So there. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, we'll go to the beach first, and then. Yeah. Because actually, I don't. I think this is a dead end. I think it just gives you an item. You go first in case it stops it. Down the next ladder, yeah. Yeah. There's a big chest. Step carefully. There's a trap. All right, we're now trapped. It's trapped. So we have a letter, which I shall read. I'm pretty sure that between the gods, the arrows and the jugged thunderbolt, you'll never survive to read this note. But just in case, I want to make sure you know that you did deserve all this. I remember that shib you stuck in my leg when you turned me in, that's why. Enjoy your escape while you can, or oh, swipe. I'd be coming to haunt you in your sleep. <laughs> oil, oil of combustion? Oh, that's handy. And elixir of necrotic resistance. And a gold ingot. Take all that. Okay, done. on my mind and well in it Why am I having such an ultimate deja vu here? What? Because you've played the game before, man. No, I know, but... I'm trying... It, it, it feels like very recently I, I, I jumped over this bit here. But I couldn't have done because I'm not in Act 2 yet on my second playthrough. No. Oh. But... Oh, I don't know, maybe it's just... Who knows? Right, I think we need to go through the prison. Okay. I need to do a bit of sneaking. Worms Rock Prison. I don't think I actually came this way. I can't remember how I got in. I think there's been five ways to just skip past them, so... I think there must be a jump here. Yeah. And then this must be is this destructive this must be destructible. If you've got have you got a hammer? Try and right click on the wall and attack it. Immune oh, to immune religion. It's a fucking wall. 
Yeah, I've got my Warhammer there. Surely you're not... Well, it's not going to be piercing or slashing, is it? Oh, there we go. You've, you've done 12 damage. There we go. Nice. So this is all red, like we can't steal it, but there's no one in here, so we'll not get caught. And I'm pretty sure there's like camp supplies in here. Rotten tomato, rotten carrot. Vegetable broth. I put camp supplies at camp, don't I? I don't have to keep them. Yeah, just send them to your camp. Oh, what's this? I've been doing... Crawler mucus. Certain fang toxin. Drow poison. Well, Dragon egg mushroom. You checked the other boxes, have you? Yeah, I'm just sending all the veg to come. Oh, rotten, don't want that. Right. I would save here, maybe. Okay. Saving in the prison. Storage room locked. Let's get a story on the case. How for a skeleton key. Oh wait, I'm gonna... Oh, have I put long... Have we got... Yeah, we'll have got long strider. Fair enough. We're buffed up from last time. Mm-hmm. wonder what they're gonna say now that we're down here, though. Um, so it looks... Wait, I'm gonna... Right. Uh, we don't want them to see. We'll run over here. Guard ah, spotted you. Tired. It's either lie or fight. I've been authorized. Is it you or me? Uh, I think you, it's me, God. yeah. Thank God I. I need a 15. Oh, I've got Rapture still. 1d6. Oh, nice. Success. Somehow the guard buys your excuse. <laughs> Get in. You're free to roam Worms Rock Prison. Excellent. So I think we're probably th there is a quest in here later on. I think, but we'll probably just want to go out because I think if we try and open any doors, then he will be pissed off. But I'm not sure which way is out because it doesn't look like it's this way. The double doors. Oh, but we haven't got a key. I can't see where you are. Where are you? Just run straight back up the corridor. Yeah, just keep going forward. We can see if he can, if if a starling can pick it. But you'll have to pick it without being noticed. That's the only problem. So I have to wait until he walks away. I'll tell you when. Someone there. Turn around, bro. Oh, why is he washing me so much? Can I create a distraction? Mm. Right. Right, you need to put a story in into sneak mode. How do I do that again? 
Uh, just press C on Astarian. Keep your distance, darling. And then maybe go into turn based mode to do this. I think that makes it work. Ah, oh, bollocks! He's turned to the left. Two seconds. It's alright, he's still not looking at you. Right, he's looking at me again. Unlocked. <laughs> right, and then exit turn base mode. Hang on a minute. Right. The Storian was spotted in a clearly lit area, it said. That's fine, it's fine because he wasn't doing anything when he got spotted, it was just the it was just at the end when he turned around. There we go. Cool. So now All right. If you want to go first, because I think we might get met by a... Uh... Oh, wait, gone. Did you go through? Yeah. Or did you go through the passageway? Right, I'm sorry. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer. Slayer of the dread General Kethrick Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate. My city. Oh, his city. So he's one of... You know how there's the, the red woman who kills everyone? Mm. He's the other... He's the other one. So he's got the other stone. We've only got... We've got one of them. And they've got the other two. So I'll say a pleasure to meet you. Could we talk face to face? Yeah. Of course. Of course. My seal watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Now Gortash invites us to see Please make your way to the audience. What's going to happen to us? We'll tell them what happened. I oh, it's up, up, up the stairs? Oh, not those stairs. Not that passageway. Oh, this waypoint was really stupid. I, I, don't know, I don't know why they haven't fixed it yet. I think you've got to go this way. And then through this door. Oh. Earthquake? Hells. Not this again. Brain appears to be resisting its masters. It's acting of its own will. Ooh, that's Mazora. To the audience chamber. Can you start a conversation? I don't know. I think it started when you. Because I was quite. Oh man! Heard about his father. The Dead Three's puppet. A travesty, really. I'm listening. He's upstairs in Worm's Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid shindig, I hear. Perfect for crash. Oh, it's alright, it wasn't it? I didn't have to do anything, that's good. That's alright. So, you know, Will, the, uh, the guy who we don't use. Yeah. That's just part of his quest, I think. I kind of ignored their quest lines until I did another playthrough so I could have a bit, like, fresh content in the game. Oh, yeah. Um, but depends, you might want to do them. Are we going through this click. door, yeah? Yeah, click on the door, yeah. And then you definitely go first this time. Oh, all the way to the bottom? Yeah, yeah. Stand down, villain. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. Point taken, I'll keep things peaceful. The yeah. Steel Watch appreciate your cooperation, citizen. Dearest patriarchs, but a moment. I must greet a most honored guest. My friend, forgive the cold welcome. My Steel Watchers are eager watchdogs. For the good of the people, I'm sure you understand. 
Lord Enver Gortash. Do we not have to kill this guy? Well, you got given another name here. Thorn's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that nether stone that you carry. You know, it takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorn's, it's become vexingly willful. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last in death. The empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, not the most thrilling of prospects. But it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I come to an understanding. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gordash always did have an eye for opportunity. What kind of understanding? There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Neverstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. What are you getting at? Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. What do you propose? I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here, so the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. I think we're going to agree then, An based on that. Useful, at least for now. And when he's no longer useful, well, we can dispose of him then. Oh, Paladin, very well, I pledge my solemn oath. Then let it be writ by the black hand of Bane. I, Lord Enver Gortash, swear I shall do you no harm. We will rise together over Toriel as a roaring sun. Let me demonstrate why you made the right choice. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I still Oh, have got an imposter in the camp. A shapeshifter? It could be anyone. I mean, it's not me, but it could be anyone else. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. How am I supposed to find Orin if she can change her form so easily? Julia Steel Watch can handle Orin. Why do you need me? Orin is elusive, shall we say. The grip of the Steel Watch may be tight, but sand still slips through its fingers. Now some conflicts are best resolved quietly. The people are cattle. Obedient until panicked. 
You carry the stone plucked from Merkel's chosen. Besides, I'm not ready to call you enemy. At least not yet. How am I supposed to find Even her? Horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Orin became what she is, where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers, when she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the body. First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherick Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the Absolute. Next, I... we... will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their Absolute God. The faithful will do anything in the name of their God. Does that change your mind? What? On your alliance with them? Uh, I don't know. Well, you can't you can't go back on it. Um, and you certainly don't want to start the fight here because we will lose. <laughs> um, so I suppose you would just yeah. I've heard I've enough, heard enough, enough for three to go. Soon, first. Come and be witness as I make history. The first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. He's a cocky bugger. I wouldn't do it all right. I wouldn't dream of missing it. Fine, let's get it over here. I have no interest in the charm of a ceremony. This stops now, gorgeous. I'm taking you out. No. Just all right. Then we proceed. The patriarchs await. Distinguished dukes, patriarchs. Dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. It's a good looking sword. Yes. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gather guests. Grant ye consent? Not. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. He's a smarmy looking bugger, isn't he? My he is. friends, the steel watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty handed. Mm. Oh, hang on a minute, I've been given something. No, I haven't. Shadowheart's inspired by shaking hand. So what quest is that? Oh, right, our fiery friend. Well, we're not doing Will's quest, so I, I wouldn't bother talking to him again. 
Why does he make a hostile? So we're now into... Mark 3 soon. I think we've got to go. Where are you? I just went down the stairs. Passageway? Yeah. Um, and then, is it this way? Hang on a minute, there's a, there's a waypoint, I'm going to go and charge through the oh, doors. We've, we've, already got, we've already got it though. We've got it, have we? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm at, I'm at, I can't remember which way it is because right, if we run that way, right, it's not that way, it's that way, it's north. I think this. I'm pretty sure we can just get into Bald Baldur's Gate now. Oh, she's gonna want to talk again. You go first. She's at the end of the bridge. What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. And to think, the drama's just started. You see, Gortash has had Will's father relocated. Where has he been taken? To his death, the way I hear it. Such a shame. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something, don't you? I know now. Let's talk to Will in your camp. Work something out. The Duke's life depends on it. Well, that just feels his quest, I think, a little bit. But... No, it's that he? Yeah. How much did you pay for your headset? 130 quid, I've Is it wireless? Yeah. Oh. I mean, to be honest, it's, it's not broken, it's just dodgy. Just the power button's dodgy on it. Mm. Saving, auto save, that's cool. So we're in the lower sea. Well, yeah, well, well, this is the Act 3. Ah, uh, just go to waypoint. Yeah, oh, yeah, we've got it. Um, so there's a million waypoints now. Jesus, yeah. If we go on, if we go on the map, so these are these are. All the murder targets from you know the list that you found in the uh, in oh. the upstairs in the last time we played. Yeah, they're all the targets, which is p also part of the quest to find the woman who you've 
who Gortash has just asked you to kill. Cool. Um, and I don't know who it'll be. The shapeshifter in the camp is different on everyone's playthrough. For me, it was Halsin, the druid guy, but um, it'll be different for you. So I think we'll, when next time I'm back at camp, we'll have to just talk to them all. Yeah. And then the real one is um, being taken by her. There's a, uh, there's a notice board over here, actually. Stay tonight at the Alps, all. What happens if you click on them? Do they just... No, they open up. Oh, they open up. And keep an Alan A. Thal at the bar. Anti-hag support group. <laughs> <laughs> Attention, have you been hexed by a hag? Lost a loved one to a deal? You're not alone. Join other survivors of hag treachery at Baron Scoop. Alone we're vulnerable, but together we can stand up against hags. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that, oh, that gave... Hmm? That gave her a quest. Alright. Rat troubles. Got a rat trouble? Not for long. Hire stomping boar as the rat catcher and your troubles are over. Small rats, big rats, giant rats, rabbit rats, any kind of rats. Both stumps of all. Reasonable rates, corpets, corpses and rat pellets removed at no extra charge. References upon request. The other one. For the stout and sturdy. Adventures wanted for perilous and profitable quest. Most Lorcan, the Arcanist of Athleta, the recluse of the Battle of Tower, seeks brave and enterprising individuals to delve the treacherous temple and recover stored artifact, the Night Song, for preservation in Baldur's Gate. Only stout of heart and keen of mind need apply. Fame, glory, and incredible fortune assured. Oh, another journal of death. Ah, so the wizard, find the wizard you want. Foreigners. Foreigners should be shunned. Their decadent ideas infect our youth and they steal Bardorian resources without contributing anything. The recent wave of refugees should be driven from Baldur's Gate. Let other cities take them in. Baldur's Gate has already given enough. I didn't know you kept were in this game. <laughs> So actually that quest I've n I'd never seen before, the help the hag survivors, where's that one? That's not too far away actually. But we'll just, uh, I'll just let you explore because I kind of feel like we'll end up doing everything I did if... And also by the, by the time I got to this point in the game, there was a few bugs and I think I missed a few things so... Oh. Um, a lot of these guys will just give you one line as. Um, you must agree, this is ludicrous. How will we meant to survive without our livelihoods? We could just go and talk to one of the people in the who are going to be murdered. Yeah. Who's, who's the strange beggar? What did you do there? I'm just pinging. I'm, I'm just pinging people. So if you talk to him, What's I'm just being a bit of a game master. <laughs> Still can't fathom that they hang folk in this. The stinky guy. Those gallows get more use than some temples. Every ten day, I write into the Baldur's map about it, and every edition fails to mention it. Pathetic. It wasn't that guy. It was that one. Yeah, yeah, the stinky one. Where am I going? I don't know whether I don't know whether the pings are coming up late actually, but it's this guy here, the the one that looks like he really stinks. I think they're coming up late, and then he moves. Come to have a go. Yeah. Give it your best shot. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. 
The smell of rot. The smell of death. Gold first. Then you can hit me. <laughs> Strange way to earn your keep the money take you up on that. Plenty. Lots of angry people in this city. No one else to take it out on. Go on. You seem like you've something pent up. <laughs> so, you having a go or not? Then move. Let someone else have a go. You know, Astorian would love to have a go. I can't remember what happens because I don't. I don't think I punched him either. <laughs> oh, let's have a story and have a go. Come to have a go. Give it your best shot. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The smell of death. I love the story and all my traffic. Gold first. Then you can hit me. Fifteen golds now is that? I think if you right click and then back for more. I don't mind. Oh, oh that was nothing. Paying. So hang on, did you punch him though? I, I didn't. He just walked away when I paid him the gold. I I, I, yeah, so I think when you, once you've paid him the gold, you right click on him and, and hit him. I think. So we had one that attack. Or maybe it's bugged. So. Yeah. Your punches, do you? And then, and then now talk to him. I don't know whether it'll do something different. Back for more. I don't mind. No, no, maybe it's just a stupid thing in the game. <laughs> Tried that once. They took the gold and hit me anyway. Better this way. I still leave the gold in my pockets. So, you having a gob or not? <laughs> then move. Let someone else have a go. Do you need a helmet? I'm just gonna go and get a drink. Me too. I didn't see him. 
I'm back. Hello. Hello. Uh, you've broken your oath. I haven't, have I? Yeah, I don't know how. When did that happen? I don't know. Oh, that's not good. So, I think it's too grand. But what we could do now, we're at Baldur's Gate. How did you know I've broken my oath? Because it says next to your picture. It's, on, it's the last circle on your picture. With a cross on it. Maybe it's when I vowed to help that guy. It might have been, you know, because he's a knob. But you didn't know how much of a knob he was but until... Because if you'd have done the will quest, you'd have known how much of a knob he was. This is why I think this mechanic didn't work so well in the game, because... You couldn't really tell how bad of a person he was when you accepted that, and then afterwards when you said, what's the plan? He then told you that the plan was horrible, and if, if you'd have known that first, you wouldn't have accepted, would you? So, yeah, it's quite a, it's quite a hard mechanic to put in the game, that, I think. Um, well, should we go to camp and talk to the guy? Yeah, can't do, yeah. all my paladin holy blows and smite and stuff. Have I lost those? Let's I, have a look. No, so you, you'll you keep the holy blows and the smites but you can't do the can't do the heals or the cures. But if you talk to that guy and you can change into a different type of paladin which I don't think you'd don't think you get heals, but you get other more offensive skills. But to be honest, his heals are quite good. So there's somebody. Let's see. There's a knight in the camp usually. Yeah, that's who you talk to, and he gives you the he gives you the chance to be either an oath breaker paladin, so you can continue doing things that you just want to do in the game, mm -hmm. or or you pay and get your your paladin status back. So if you don't want to spend the money, you can be an oath breaker knight, where. I'll quickly Google the skills because uh, you, you you might both break out. Explain PG3. How to break? What does the oath breaker do? In terms of playstyle, oath breakers come close to warlocks, sword and sorcery. Melee attacks with necrotic damage. Spiteful suffering control. Right, so you turn into like an evil paladin, but which you probably don't want to be. No, I want to be a good paladin. Yeah, I'm exactly. Talk to the Oathbreaker so, Knight. Yeah, go talk to him. Because actually, we've got a lot of junk that we can sell at the vendors, and that two grand won't really mean much. Nah. Speak. What happens if I reclaim my oath? I wish to take up my oath again. With each transgression, your burden grows. Oh no, it's going to cost more. the price of redemption. You may still. Oh, it's too grand your oath. So long as you are willing to pay. How much gold do I've got? Can I say that at this point? You've got th you've got three and a half thousand. I checked before. Your offering is accepted. Neil. Because when I lose the paladin dialogues and stuff. Itself, to protect all uh, ah, yeah, you and probably would, wouldn't natural, you? And to repel wickedness wherever it threatens. It's a bit like the bloody moonies, you have to pay money. A bit like the what? Moonies. What's the moonies? It's a cult from the 1970s. The oath of the ancients <laughs> was once more used to fulfill... I did just Jehovah's, think it was... Aren't you hoping? Well, I... You did just well, say what? I, well, I did just think it's just what all churches do, and you just tithe, <laughs> and then you're out eat. Do a bit of tithing. Shall I talk to Will? He's got an exclamation mark. Yeah. Good time for a chat. Your tadpole quivers, revealing your discussion with Mazzoro to Will. Shit. Father's been taken, and Mazora started to scheme. 
By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Certainly not. But she's as inevitable as Toril's path around the sun. We'll have answers soon enough. Let's talk to Mazora. Until then, may my father keep safe. Whatever coop he's been flown to. I met her twice. The first time, I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim, I asked father later. No, he said, a stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. I couldn't say. But think about this. My father was tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, he must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. It's not coming with us. Yeah, I just, to be honest, I spoke to him because I, I didn't take him on any of it. I think you can still kind of complete the quests with, with them just being in the camp. Mm. Um, you just kind of talk for them. But to be honest with you, the, 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 if, you, if you'd have took him all the way through, I found out when I played at the end, I'll not say, but it's actually quite interesting what you can do with, at the end of his quest line. So mm. if, you ever, if we ever play through the game again, which if we play another couple of games, we could just play through this again after we've played another couple, couldn't we really? And yeah. Take him round and, you know, so because... Because actually I was quite interested when I found out what would happen. Um, okay, so leave camp, yeah? Uh, unless do we want to... Well, do we need to rest? I don't think we need to, do we? Nah. Well, how many yes? Uh, how many spell slots have you got on? I just Warros? picked up a bedroll. I didn't want to pick up a bedroll. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do, actually. I'm going to... Oh, I'm not allowed... Oh, I'm not allowed to use your chest. It's... Oh, that is so annoying. Because I would have just picked out all the stuff for you. on my chest no yours is the other one mine's got no of worth in it really and that, well I mean I can sell this stuff I'm going to take this stuff so I can Where's sell mine? it but yours is just on the opposite side over there yeah it's a different colour it's showing us Gale why is it showing me Gale because it, it just shows you that it's just that's just the first person in your camp like that when you open the box it'll show you all of the inventories of every if you look at the top mm. it's going to show you all the inventories in case you in case you left something on them but and then because you'd have to talk to them again and put them back in your party so it'd be really annoying so it just right. shows you the in inventories there which they didn't put in until after i got like halfway through the game <laughs> <laughs> um, got so them. if you if you if you click on travel as chest instead instead of gale yeah i got it um and then do sort by value and just take the most expensive stuff at the top until you're in combat and then we'll just distribute it across everyone and no oh, we'll come back to it it's nothing much I want uh, out of there we'll just keep going for the time being I think do, do, you need a helmet though just... don't you yeah, yeah, but we're, Dad, we're going to need to take all of this stuff to sell to the merchants so that we've actually got enough money to buy the cool stuff because we've just spent two grand. Okay. Uh, give to... It's probably going to encumber with badly. Do, do I add to Wes? Ye yes. Uh, oh, no. And no, it stayed in the chest? Yeah, you'd... Oh, hang on. Can you sell from your... 
You can sell from your. Oh my yeah. god! You can sell. Uh, it's such a good job you said that, Dad. <laughs> sell from camp chest. Do you want a circlet of psionic revenge? I presume that's like a helmet, is it? Yeah, but I, I don't know if the psionic revenge is only for Githyankis. Yeah, Githyanki will also change a plus one bonus to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Charisma, so to Githyanki, hard to wears. I I don't know if that does, you know, Dad. I think it just marks them for later. I'm I'm searching it now. I think it, it, you're just marking them to say that I'll sell them. I'll sell them later. Two seconds, any time past month. Huh. Add to where's Tom Chess BG3. Oh, that's from when it first came out. Well, we can try it. So, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, well, we can try it. So, add everything to the wares that you need to and then. I'm just adding the Cause expensive that, stuff. Because actually what we're going to do is, is we're going to go and find the vendor, then stand right next to him, teleport back to camp, put all of the stuff from the traveller's chest into your inventory, which will completely encumber you, but then when you press go back to camp, you'll appear back next to him, so you can just click on him and sell it all. Okay. Well, I've added, I've added what I want to add to where, so... Right, so... Right now, we'll just do leave camp. Where's the leave camp option? It's uh, Where's the if plate? you press bottom one on the campfire. Right, let's go and find some vendors for some. Hang on, I'm going to save. Things. Yeah. Shouty person says anything. No, the person standing up. Yeah, I'm yeah. Worried. You, you two must submit to Lord Gortash if you are to be saved. Oh, I see. Boring. A golden dragon. Uh, I haven't been in here before. Actually, this must be the the newspaper place. Yeah, let's have a look. Wait there. You talk to her, and then I don't think she's. Born. No, I'll give it a shot. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Oh. Uh, Oh, when I like to pull the lever, I wonder who we've got. Oh, oh it's red. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Maybe that guy. Well, well, if it isn't the city's next celebrity. You star in our next edition's top story. Seems odd you've read the article before before <laughs> asking me any questions. Estra deals with the personal interviews and fluff pieces. I deal with the truth. 
And my truth is, you're a damned menace. <laughs> Not many enter our fine city and immediately start meddling in murder investigations. Curious, don't you think? The truth will be out with tomorrow's broadsheet. People will spit in your face. Your very presence will be bad for business. You'll be a pariah, an outcast, as you should be. And then, we can only hope the fists do their duty and escort you to the gallows. Your days of scumming up this good city streets will be over. Now, with Lord Gortash, you wouldn't want to wear rumours. <laughs> nice try. But it's not gonna work. Lord Gortash and me are very close, and he mentioned no such thing to me. The headlines are loaded into the print works already. Tomorrow, you will feel the power of free speech. Vox Populi, Vox Dei. Now, guards! I believe our distinguished guest well. is just leaving. Would you care to escort them out? They're not going to attack the guards in the middle of the city, you're joking, aren't you? No. Just let them too out. You're still loading? Yeah. yeah well, because it, it never takes me with you, so they then started talking to me, saying you're not allowed to be here. <laughs> um, so that's give her another quest, which I've never seen before. Stop cool. the presses. We must stop it from printing. I wonder how we'll end up stopping it from printing. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll just have, we'll just have, if you follow me, we'll just run around and like open the map up and you'll, yeah. we'll be able to, the annoying thing is, is that You've got to leave your own waypoint markers for the traders because they don't have them. General updated. Ooh. Is that a tavern we need to go into? Yeah, there's a couple of quests in there at the minute. Um, uh, visit them, old hideout. Everybody's sitting getting pissed. Mm -hmm. I presume we talk to the people behind the bar on that. Let's talk to the guy behind the bar. Aye aye. Pull up a seat. If you can find one spare, that is. Business going well? With all this talk of war, what else are folk to do but drink? I reckon the murder we'd had something to do with it too. Got punters all intrigued. On that morbid note, what can I get your fine self? You anything to trade? It's been slim picking I just sells the absolute bit. butchered that supply convoy. But have a look. He's got a thousand and eighty. I could sell my stuff. You could you could sell stuff to him. So, yeah. Well, there's a thing he sell wares button, isn't there? Yeah. So if, if you press that, we'll see if it might give you the option to take them out of your camp chest. But it's greyed out at the minute. All right, that'd be why. Right, so we'll have to go back and take the wares. Miscellaneous, magical, consumables, books, and keys, equipment. All. So oh, yeah, how right, how yeah. do we how do we get the wares? So. End the conversation with them. Fill your boots, mate. And then, where is he? Are you standing right next to him? No. So walk around behind the bar and stand next to him. Like I've done. So stand like right next to him. Baldur's Gate. But don't click on him. You know, Hang on a minute, I've accidentally I clicked on. I believed I'd actually make it back. Shut up. 
It wasn't until we got within reach of Worms Crossing that it felt real. It's so strange. Oh, actually, I forget you I need to remember, remember to speak to your own companions every now and then as well. But I can't help feel like I know it. It feels like home. I suppose it is. Though the chance to savour the moment might be brief, given all that still lies ahead of us. I may have to rely on your local knowledge to plug the gaps in my own mind. Hopefully, I'll remember more than I expect to. God, there's a lot of questions here. Oh, this is if you want to try and pull her. I don't know if any of them are to do with... Oh, actually... About the night song. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, talk, talk about that, because... Yeah. But also, no. I felt like the world had been upended. But it also made perfect sense. My parents are alive, and I have to save them. And the part of me always knew that. The part that Shah denied to me. Whatever you must do, I will be by your side. Thank you. But I want you to refrain from foolish heroics. When the time comes, we'll be entering a nest of vipers. I couldn't bear to lose you. Not after everything. We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. No. Oh. Rings a bell? Why? Oh, hells. You didn't pick that by hand, did you? They're deadly poisonous. Joking. <laughs> They're safe. <laughs> and beautiful. Thank you. I don't have anything to give you in return, I'm afraid. We'll see. Give me a while to put my imagination to work. Of course. Ooh. 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 I'll look oh, away. Oh, man, look away. <laughs> okay, let's see well, it. Don't stand in ceremony. Come here. Oh, I think this is the point when... Uh... So if you played a, if you played a dwarf, they didn't do the animation properly. You end up kissing that tits instead. <laughs> no. I had received night orchid. Right, stand by this guy. Let's get back to what I was supposed to be doing. Yeah, so if you stand right next to him and then go to camp, we'll get teleported exactly back here and, we'll, we'll, and it won't matter that we're encumbered. Cool. So if you go to your chest, and then multi-highlight, send them to me. Why can't I give them to myself? Don't tell us I've got to give them to you. I can send them to Shadowheart. Our story on it is too heavy for a story in. Yeah, so send... Send, send them to oh. Shadowheart, yeah? Yeah, or as Waros. It doesn't give us that option. Well, I it didn't for me. I think that's a bit bugged. I sent them to a story in and then put them on myself. Which is why it might have said it was too much for him. So you could send them just, you could just send them to a story in. It says it's too heavy for a story and I can't click it. 
Send maybe Shadow that Art then. You can try. It might be that that's far, far too much. Like, I've only taken, like... Oh, oh they've right, gone okay. out the Traveller's Chest. Can't right, how much? What's the... 960. I'm raging. Yeah, we'll not use that. When you succeed a saving throw. What to do? Uh, yeah, I'll probably use something else. Oh, we'll keep... We'll keep the potion. I would keep that potion. Which potion? The potion of angelic slumber. I wouldn't sell it. It's extremely handy. Right, we're going out of camp? Um, yeah. Leave camp. And then just talk to him himself. With Shadow Heart, yeah? Yeah. Oi, oi. Pull up a seat. If you can find one spare, that is. It's been slim. Check how much he buys them for, though, because. Is he buying them for the actual right price? But have a look. I just wonder if he's not going to buy them for as much as an armor I would buy them. Some of these are magic items that are like 40 gold and stuff. How much? 40. What, for the per for the... Hang on. For the... Dagger plus one, 19 gold. Yeah, I, I, I think it's also got something to do with your charisma. And whether or not... You're at a... Oh, hang on a minute. We're gonna. But the thing is, though, I've we're gonna have to sell. So I've got. They're all marked as wares on Shadow and Heart. So I know. And he's only gonna buy them for that much. Sixty-two gold for an exterminator's axe. Which one was that? What's that one called? Exterminator. All right. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, for the Everburn blade, sixty-two. Yeah, I think we're selling to the wrong person. And also, I think you need to sell with us, Waros, because he's got the highest charisma. But, to be honest, we've only got a grand. You're not even going to be able to buy, like, any good equipment with a grand. So, yeah. you, what, I, what I did was, is I, I took all of the even, like, not even the green stuff, like the... Because you'll have sent loads of normal stuff to camp, I would assume. Like, you know, like, the, boot, the boots and stuff that mm. don't have, like, a background on them. A coloured background, and you can sell all of them. Yeah, I'll do that. Do yeah, but I've I'm, see what have I got here? I've got like loads of plate armor, which is saying it's going to go for four hundred. But I think that's only if you've got maximum charisma and uh, maximum affinity with the the person who you're selling to. So we'll probably have to find an armor. So highlight that stuff. The stuff that you are going to go as wares, and we won't have to go back to camp because we can just send it back to camp, and then we'll find an armorer. Okay. So now it's just giving us the option when I've multi selected them. Um to send to people. We, you could send them across the people and then like divvy it out. But we're gonna have to go back and forth loads anyway, so well maybe twice. Well I'll send them all to I mean, Gale. To who? Gale. 
Well, no, send them to camp, otherwise you, we're just going to have them everywhere when we go back to camp. So we'll send it well, to camp and it'll stay in the camp box. Maybe you'll have to be out of the, there and go into infantry. Because I was in ways. I mean, I can see it. I could just do it. I can put all I'm your wares in for you. Send to camp. Yeah, that's done. Oosh. Oosh has got a heavy trunk on her. And it weighs 10. I would drop that. I always accidentally pick up stuff. And... She, um... It's got nothing in it. Yeah, but it, it just weighs 10. So I would just drop it. Yeah. There we go. No one stopped me yet. So... Well, let, let us go and find oh, how she's still encumbered. Oh. Let's get on. Oh, hang on. That weighs 17. I'll send that to camp. There we go. You're not encumbered anymore. All right. What now? Another. Right, if we just go out the front door, we'll try and find the armourers. I don't see what the point of wares is then, it just marks them. So I think that's for when you're like, just when you're going, because some people manage their inventory as they're playing through the game, like constantly, so that they would just mark that straight away, run to a trader and press sell. Whereas we've been sending them all to the camp. Um, there is someone here who, Cora Highbury, who's one of the murder targets. If you want to do part of that quest. Hello there. Oh, we were just about to try some of Master Metzley's delightful wines. Oh, would you care to join us? Oh, they do look ever so tasty. Ah, Mrs. Highbury, I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Oh, really? Call me Cora, Master Metzley, and I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without... You're not people killing out, mate, your dwarf rest in re dressed in red. Wine scent is almost That's sickly what... sweet, with an acrid note just on the periphery. Poison. No! It was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect! You have sullied it with knowledge, made it an unclean sacrifice. I will remember your face, and I will peel it from your skull, should you interfere again. Right, so the... It's alright, they're evil, so we're allowed to kill them. This is mad. I fought him so late in the game. <laughs> so I didn't realise they'd done this much like vet like variancy. Um oh, I've, so much, oh, yeah. blood of Lafand, I've got it. <laughs> oh yeah. Divine strike poison. Starion's in a good position to sneak attack him, actually. Not enough movement. Oh. I'm gonna try to uh, cancel that one. Oh, that one? Oh, him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. 
Nice. Right, I'm gonna use hold person on one of them and then... I'm paralyzed, can't control, incapacitated. He is humanoid. Oh, he's not humanoid, what is he? He's a doppelganger, he's a monstrosity, right, so I can use hold monster on him. Nice. How do I come out of this? Um, you can't. You're paralyzed. Which is slightly annoying. You've got one more turn of being paralyzed. But you can hit him for critical if he's held by me. It'll critical every time. The one that's uh, held, so... Oh. Nice. Oh, as well as out of his. What shall I use on him? Oh, can you take another strike? Go on, to finish my thing. I did howl at the dead. I don't know what that does actually. Uh, How much is that? Yeah, I'm that numbs all nearby creatures three turns. So they're all numbed. Why have I just hit them like that? Oh, that is really irritating. Just wasted me action. Where is he? Well, but is this woman going to say thank you for just saving her life? Just run off. Oh, I've got a key. Tombstone shop key. Ooh, right, okay, so... That must be the way into the... That must be the way in. Oh, we need to go to the Elf Song Tavern's basement as well, don't we? Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Um, I can't believe this woman's not come out and said thank you. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I wanted at least 100 gold for that. Right, so we could find a... We, we, need, to fi we need to find a... We need to find an armor so we can make some money. Yeah. I'm trying to remember where he is. Uh, yeah, come down the ramp, yeah, this way. Got ya. All right. Yes, it's yeah. Yes. As you were, There's two. 
Weapons trader, armor trader, and then there's a few more around the city as well. And you got lost in the crowd right there. It's, yeah. Yeah. Gloomy Fentonson. You in need of So if we see what he's got. Because I'm sure he's got what some good stuff. I'm going to go talk to the weapons one and see if there's Everyone's anything that you could use. Don't be shy. This armor can't keep you alive if it's sitting here with me. Oh, the dead shot. How much is that? That's a lot of money. Oh, you need this for... You definitely need this for a Storian. And what? The dead shot. Improve critical. The number you need to roll a critical while attacking is reduced by one, which also doubles up with the dagger you've got, which reduces it, so it means you've only got to roll an 18 to get a critical. Where's the dead shot? And then shot? it's on the weapons guy. It's on, it's on the weapons woman who I'm talking to. Oh, right. And then the wielder doubles their proficiency bonus when rolling ranged attacks with this weapon. Which is unbelievable. I'm just going to send some random stuff like gold ingots and things. Yeah, gold ingots go for a lot. Infernal iron. Don't sell that. Ink we need that for quest. Got four ink pockets, so you can have those. Did I get my stuff? I'm gonna quickly blast back. It's, you know what it is? It's a shit. It's a shame it won't let me look in your camp chest because I could just qu I could do it with you, and it would be mm. like double quick. Because I can, I'm, st I'm back at camp now. I can just get my stuff and then. You want all of that sold? You want that sold? That sold? Two thousand six hundred and thirty-four gold at the minute. The way I see it, you've got the folk who invest in quality armor, and you've got the corpses who try to play it cheap. Whereabouts are you? I'm back at camp. I'll just get my stuff and then I'm going to leave again and and then sell. Need something for defense? So, or maybe offense? Either way, I've got what you need. Let me see what you have to. Oh, it's you who's trading. Oh, now this stuff's selling for more. Yeah. It's a jolt shooter, two to nine damage. Sort of screams. Selling for well, much I would, more now. Oh, but is that not a good? Is that not a good sword? Seven to seventeen damage. Um, eight to eighteen damage. Yeah, I know, but it depends. Like the damage doesn't really mean a lot on this game because it's it's the stuff it's the stuff at the bottom. Because all of the stuff ends up like linking with each other. There'll be like a sword that goes with a helmet, that maybe goes with a pair of boots, and when you've got all three of them, they're ridiculously good together. Ah. So it depends. Was it what it what the is your stream on? Mm -hmm. Is your stream on? Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, no man, I can see it in your bag. Oh no, I can't see it in your bag because I'm in. Why can't I leave it? Oh, I can. Hang on. The sword of screams. Who's it on as well, Ross? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it just does for, extra psychic damage. It might be good for Historian though. Nah, that's the one he used to use before the that knife. Alright. Oh, but that's alright. Um yeah, you could probably sell that. I don't need punch drunk bastard. 
<laughs> Triples, triple of rage. While you are drunk, you have advantage on attack rolls. Guess Yankee short sword. I've got loads of Guess Yankee stuff. The jolt shooter. Why have I got three quills? Who knows? Okay, I think I'm done. All of my wares are tried and true. Hells, some of them are probably already killed before. Right, can I trade this? Oh, Kurt has insufficient gold! What, have, oh I my taken God. All gold? have I taken all that gold? No, the other guy's only got 1200, but to be honest, you're gonna have to buy that armor off him because it's unbelievable. The pink one. Where? With this guy in the pink. With Gloomy Fen you Instant. Exotic material. <laughs> add your full dexterity modifier to your armor class. Everyone's in this armor protection. does not impose Don't disadvantage on stealth. Which means if you give that to a Storian, he's, sitting here with me. he's mm. gonna have some huge armor class. Um, so you're all trading at the moment. But I'm trading, so I'm gonna. When you haven't got enough, I don't think, because it's five grand. I haven't, I've already got about three. Can I sell this? Insufficient. Can I just sell this? Yes. It's got 400 left. Ooh, this does sell for. Do you know what it is? Even the. All of these sell for a hundred each. So no, you can't sell that much. So do your maths, Will. <laughs> oh, gone. Right. So I'm probably still over encumbered. Is there anything that I don't? Know, what armor have I got on? Moon devotion. Well, the wearer has major armor, each successful saving throw. Oh, no, I'm keeping that on because I'll keep major armor. Um, you take one last piece and damage, gain a one plus. Chainmail. And the rest of it's just. Right. Danger. Right, what are we doing? Um, did you buy the weapon? Which weapon? I'm going to sell the rest of my stuff to her. Did you buy the weapon off her? What weapon? The dead shot? No. Right, I'll buy it for you and then I'll do something. I'll just sell this to her. Sell. Actually, what's the story got now? Let's have a look. I'm not going to let us look. What's the story got now for his bow? Uh, Least expected. Right, I think this is de this is definitely better. This one, I'll buy it. Um, buy, and then now I can sell some more stuff because I've given her all the money again. So by latest, Starion's got a lot of shit to sell as well. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, we, we probably need them because a lot of the stuff goes up to four or five grand, and you kind of need the good weapons later on in the game. Um. So. Yeah, I don't want that. So. Right, I'll give this. Uh, I'll give this to a historian now. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Where is he? I'll put it at the bottom of his pile. Oh no, that's an iron, it's right at the bottom. Oh, just do sort, do sort by latest on a story and you'll find the book.
Can a Starion go commando? What do you mean? I've got, like, when I'm looking at his inventory and stuff, he's, co he's currently got equipped a Starion's underwear. Oh, yeah, they all can. You're not seeing it. It's crack you can, you can make them all naked when they're in camp. <laughs> when you make them all naked, you can make them all naked anyway. <laughs> Excellent. People don't, people don't do it because your stream gets banned. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Time is um, Three o'clock. So we kind of call it a day. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, well, we've entered the city now, and we've got plenty to do when we come back. So yeah, I would. But actually, equip a starring with that bow before we forget. Okay. Has he got it in his inventory? Yeah. Just do a do a sort by latest, and you'll find it because it's. I think we need to get him that armor because he's gonna end up with. He's gonna if we if we sell enough to get him that armor. When we next come on, which shouldn't take long. Yeah. He'll. Uh, oh, actually, I wonder if you gave me control of a Starion, would it? Would it just let me into your chest? Because then I could quickly we could both do it, and then it would only take one trip. But anyway, once you get that, his his armor class should go up to twenty one, like the rest of them. Yeah. Um, but yes, other than that, you might like Diablo as well. I'm playing through Diablo at the minute, and it's not too hard. But it's not—it's kind of a—it's more—it's more of a looting game, where like you're you're just like killing stuff over and over, waiting to get like good drops to make your character better. So oh, I don't right. know if you'd enjoy, I don't know if you'd like it, but it depends. You used to have to do that in WoW, didn't you? You'd, you'd like. You grind the the bosses to get the good yeah, items in that. Yeah. Um. But. And then actually, you had all the good stuff on Ultima as well, didn't you? Because you used to craft it all. Yeah, I did. I used to. Remember do those craft special it. hammers? The special hammers. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Memories, eh? Um. <laughs> right. I'll. Uh... Well, what are you doing on Thursday? What day is it? Day Tuesday. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at the calendar. Okay, I'm gonna close the stream. Cool. Thursday. <laughs> 